uh, I love what she said uh, that uh, there is a second chance for kites and people. And I'm so excited that Tabea is actually here to talk with us from Israel right now. So let's invite Tabea on. So Tabea is an entrepreneur and the founder of Kite Pride. And we're so excited that you're here, Tabea. So excited to be here. Thank you for joining us. Awesome. So, uh, Tavea, I wanted to pick up on a point that you mentioned in, in that video. And you said that the people who work with Kite Pride didn't have a choice. Like, you know, maybe some other people have choices. And so even if they wanted to change their careers, you talked about how difficult it is for people to find employment when they have a trauma history. And um, there are many people in our audience who will be watching us who maybe struggle with those same issues of addictions and depression and can't make it to work because you know uh, of the, the struggles that they have in dealing with their trauma. Um, so I just wanted to ask you, how does Kite Pride manage these challenges for the employees? And what encouragement do you have for people who may have limited employment choices as a result of suffering from sexual trauma? So what I think is really the main, main uh, point in in all of this and what we really, really strive for at Kai Pride is to create an atmosphere of um, unconditional love, of acceptance, of nurturing, of believing in the future And as I often say to people, you know, we have so many people come and ask us, how do you do it? And can we hear stories of your um, survivors and all of that? And I always say, you know what? I don't even know all the stories because I, not because I'm not interested in their past, but because I see their future. And I always say, we need to meet these people at eye level and say, I see your future. I know your past, at least maybe some of it, but I just see your future and I want to speak that out and I want, to, I want to just make sure that you can get to that. And also what we do at Kai Pride is we have um, a social worker in-house who makes sure that she catches on those little, little things that we might not catch on to that triggers a trauma or whatever. And we make sure that there's professionals in-house to be able to, again, you know, just to to make sure that they feel comfortable or um, to really, really be able to say, hey, I saw you react in that and that way. Do you need help on that? And then help them to then work that up with somebody external. So basically, Kai Pride, we'd like to treat them as a, we like to treat people as being in a normal work atmosphere. And we don't call out their past, we call out their future. And again, we make sure that they do get professional help, but we make sure that it's not within Kite Pride. So basically, if we see something, we say, hey, you might want to look at that. And then we speak to somebody outside of our work um, environment and say, could you maybe just help them in that? Just to make sure that they're really, really just eye level again, because that's what they need. And also, um, we, we really like to just create a, an atmosphere of family. We eat lunch together every single day. Uh, we cook warm meals. We, we really just make it a whole, whole um, party actually to just um, have a meal together and share that meal together. And around the table, there's so much that just happens. And as in a family, it's maybe their first time that they actually sit around the table and take in a meal. And so that's really something we really, really uh, put our finger on and we nurture. We nurture family, unconditional love. And again, we have professionals in-house who pick up on things and then help them and accompany them. And we make sure that everybody really just takes that uh, on. Yeah. What an amazing work environment you've created um, just with the support, not only, you know, person to person, person, uh, employee to employer, you've got the professional staff. That's just amazing. And I love what you said about focusing on the future. Like we can't change the past, right? So you just look to the future. And I love that your model revolves around that. So uh, yeah, just so inspiring. Thank you for being here, Tavia. I really, really like uh, enjoy the way you're doing the, 
this uh, helping situation are really so surprised. So uh, another question. So can you tell us about what you see coming for Kite Pride in 2021 and so that people who are watching and want to support know what they can be, par uh, be a part of? Well, what we'd love to see is um, we really want to inspire other businesses to adopt a, a similar model to take in people with um, that background without, again, you know, knowing where they're coming from, but not reducing them to the fact that that is where they're coming from. But to say, hey, I see potential in this person and I want to give her a place in my business. And I want to, again, also call out the future but in a nurturing environment and make sure that, that there's somebody in place to be able to take this person basically a little bit like a, um, just like somebody who can just really take care of the, if, if it's not a business that has the whole model that we have with a social worker in place and with, with just all the professionals in place, that it can be a business that says, you know, we'll just have somebody take them under their wing and nurture them and help them to get where they need to get. And um, at the same time, we also really, really hope to op uh, open more Kite Pride locations um, around the world. We're currently working on a, on a business model for uh, Amsterdam. So we're working very hard on that. And um, it would just be amazing to see it grow and to just um, go global. Oh, thank you. That, that's really impressive. I'm kind of excited. Yeah, sounds, sounds pretty cool. And I really congratulate you for what you're doing. You're giving hope to people. So that means a lot. So thank you so much. Yeah. Yes, Avea. Woohoo! Every country. Go, go, go. Well, yeah. um, we have an exciting announcement to make this weekend. Everybody who donates to Kite Pride will have their gift matched up to $1,000 by Dancing Is My Voice. So we want you all to get behind this business. If you give $20, it's 40. If you give 100, it's 200. So you can give. I'm going to post the links in the chat in just a second. Um, you can also buy the bags, right? Uh, yes. And, yes. So buy bags, sport your bag. Uh, yeah. So, um, Tavea, thank you so much for the hard work that you're doing. I know it's not easy, but you have changed so many lives and you're such an inspiration. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We'll see you later.